Hey guys, I'm Chris Sinog, founder of the SEAL Training System. And in this video, I wanna share with you the different stages of meditation. Let's go ahead and get started. Joining me now is retired Navy SEAL sniper, Chris Sinog. All right, so when I teach shooting, I talk about the importance of meditation and I understand that it can be hard and frustrating trying to learn how to meditate and understand the importance of meditation and why you do it. Well, the importance of meditation is being able to focus on what you choose to focus on at any moment in time. For instance, if you're in a gunfight or you're in a shooting competition, there's a lot of stress going on. There's a lot of noises and sounds and different things happening. Well, that's what's going on in your mind all the time and that's why it can be frustrating when you first start learning how to meditate. So what we want to do is control that stress at all times and slowly ramp up the amount of stress that you feel even when you're meditating. When you start off meditating, what you wanna do or you may need to do to kind of quiet those sounds in your mind is actually listen to some soft music. I listen to some Japanese flute music sometimes by oral sounds where there's different sounds going in each ear. You can listen to white noise, really anything to just kind of distract your mind and those thoughts that you're hearing. And the whole purpose of meditation is taking those thoughts, acknowledging them, and then choosing to focus on your breath. So you wanna do that in a quiet space with your eyes closed. Once you get good at that and you're starting to get better, you can take away the music because that's gonna not wash out those sounds with something that's outside of yourself. So you're gonna be able to control that better. Then you can start to meditate maybe with your eyes open. So now you have to take in this visual input and still be able to focus on what you choose to focus on. You can start to go to, to a busy street even. As you get better, you wanna start introducing these external stressors. And that's gonna be kind of the same thing you're gonna experience in a gunfight or in a competition or wherever you need to use your firearm. So you're slowly ramping up the stress that you're experiencing, but still using your mind and choosing to focus on what you wanna focus on. And in the end, you can even go to a gun range. If you have a problem flinching or reacting just to the sound of gunfire, go and once you're at that level, meditate at a gun range. So it's not all about always just sitting in a quiet place. And in the end, you should be able to learn to meditate and do moving meditations. I use this with my shooting app where I use the focus band to teach you how to draw and fire your gun, for instance, while staying in a flow state. Start off slow, maybe with some white noise that in your headphones that's gonna help you drown out those random thoughts that we all have in our minds. But then, as you get better, slowly ramp up the amount of stress that you hear, things you see, still while maintaining that meditative state. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you're meditating, and until next time, keep paving your path to perfection. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed watching that video. And if you did, I put together my top three videos for learning to shoot at home. And I wanna give those to you absolutely free. Now, all you have to do is click the I card that just popped up, or you can go to chrissinog.com forward slash free videos. And I will send you not only those top three videos that I have for learning to shoot at home, but I will also send you a free PDF copy of my new rules of marksmanship manifesto. Click the card, go to chrissinog.com forward slash free videos so I can send you those videos. Keep paving your path to perfection, guys.